Straight up under there. Bolt on. Bolt on. His words, not mine. Bolt on. So I spent $15,000 on. <laughs> yeah. It's a good dude. height too, like that's gonna be there. Uh, yeah. Hang on, mother <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get back to business. Welcome back to the channel, dudes. This is Built by Blake. Dean is around here somewhere. I don't know where he is, but he's here. Take my word for it. Today, Sequential, Sequential is going in the GTR. The last episode, we put the engine in, strapped it all down, put the drive shafts in. She's good to go. Now, it is time to slap this OS88 six-speed Sequential in so that we can finally at least sit in the driver's seat and, and go bah, 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 bah. I'll be doing that. I will definitely be doing that as soon as this gearbox is sitting in the car. We're gonna take the Subaru, I was about to say Liberty. God, heaven forbid we have a Liberty rally car. The six speed WRX off the uh, um, gearbox stand. Gonna chuck the sequential on there, lift this car up and then mate, technical term, mate, marry, mate. Mate or marry to the back of the RB26. RB28, RB26, same, same. So we just made a bit of a note. It's just with lessons learned. Probably a good idea to have it in gear when you put it in, so that when the splines are being a pain in the ass to line up, you can jiggle it from the back and change the spline so that it mates nicely, so that you don't hang off, <laughs> hang off the back of a motor like what well, I did in my six-speed swap, uh, and we did in the WRX six-speed swap. Why is that so? Boss moment. <laughs> Honk. Is that doing what we want? Yeah, that's what we want. Yep. Oh. It's not that heavy. It's no, it's no, it's probably as heavy as a Subaru 6 speed. Just a little throwback to the, the episode here, his 200 series air breather. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> this is as simple as any other gearbox install, except this one makes better noises. Bolt on. Bolt on. His words, not mine. Bolts on. So I spent $15,000 on. <laughs> no, no. I didn't say spent on, I said, <laughs> bol I said bolts on. So anyone that has ever fitted a gearbox will know that feeling 
when you get to this part here and it just goes and just goes in and now it's um up to the bolts to do the rest what are we going to do with this you want to there is a cross member, but I don't know how it works. I need to bolt the box up to the edge, grab the cross member, put it there, you go like that, that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know which bolt pushes is all bushes is all. Yeah. It's so not a so it's easy. You just bolt, bolt it all up. Yeah. Just bolt it all up. Which will hang off the engine mounts. Fine. Move back. Pump it up. Pump it up into where it should be. Get the cross member, and then understand what the f it actually does. Because it might just bolt on there, but I don't think it does. For those playing along at home, this is what it takes to do the top bell housing bolt up on an RB. Didn't have to do any of that on a Subaru. been a bit since I've done a bit of an update. Uh, the box is in, as you guys would have seen just before. Uh, it could be a one-off, but it looks like for the GDR guys out there, if you're putting an OS88 box in your car, they probably will need some sort of clearancing. So rubber mallet, not this. Yeah, not, not to be clearanced uh, when the box is in the car. Uh, when the box is out of the car, it's seriously would be three hits with a rubber mallet and it'll make your life easy so easy so after some thought team captain Dean came up with this solution which actually worked a treat so these mounts here that actually join to the gearbox that go to the cross member you can undo all of them and slide the whole thing across so Where's that mutt? Oh, it's under there. There's like an adjuster on it. Yeah. Turns out it's adjustable. Yeah, so these here, you can see just that bolt just there. Undo that and loosen it and slide the cross member across to wherever you need it to actually sit. In our case, it cleared up here for us because that sensor and that uh, reverse lockout cable was hitting on the tunnel. You can see where it started to hit, but we've clearanced it now, so we're all good to go. And you know what? The funniest part about it is, the old dead set, and I know it for a fact, these, that, that generation will blame this COVID thing for their entire life. Yeah. Not, yeah. not, not oh, the yeah, next yeah, one. Yeah. It'll be like when they're 60 years yeah. old. Oh, COVID. Oh, COVID. Oh. Think, f us. That's why I'm living in a f***ing caravan park. <laughs> I don't have a caravan. I live in the trees. <laughs> it's all because of that COVID thing. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, mate, I remember it. <laughs> That's John. He lives in the tree next door. I don't know who caravan is. I live in the trees. I live in the toilet blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, mate, this is going to be the first time that you knock it out of gear when this bitch is in the car. <laughs> True that. How'd that feel? Ooh, feels good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good it's height, in. too. Like, that's going to be there. Yeah. Hang on, motherfuckers. What the? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. <laughs> yeah, not fing around. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So, good times. Tail shaft is in. Tail shaft leads up to gearbox. Gearbox is in. Gearbox is mounted. Engine mounts are done back up. Things are happening. Wheels are turning. Beer is in my hand. <laughs> beer, beer, beer. <laughs> Beers are drinking. <laughs> Everything's gonna get out of control now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just fucking throws the box back. Oh, I can get people to find that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, he's going in for the kill. <laughs> Thousand ponies of aircon. Stallions. There she is. A little sneak peek of the sequential sitting down there. Alright, so the GTR has officially kicked off. The motor is in. Sequential in. Now everything else can start to happen. So all of the plumbing, all of the wiring, everything that needs to be plugged in and moved around and mocked up and sorted out. Now it's good to go. So it was a bit of a hassle. Uh, it obviously didn't go in exactly as planned, but I mean, whatever does. So anyway, now we get to mock up all of the turbo, just that intake and the turbo gets to go back on now. Oh. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff because now it's about to get so fucking legit. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Ever since you shut the door on everything we knew, you're too late for love.